Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Hello, Dark Souls fans, and welcome to Let's Enjoy Dark Souls 3, which is a very different series to if anyone watched the last one I did, because the last one I did was not me enjoying the game, and I didn't like that. So let's have fun with this game. Uh, we have here the new character being played, dubbed Athena Red Fox, which for background, whenever I make a character in a game with red hair, I tend to just call them Red Fox. It's a bit basic, but it makes sense just... You know, in a very stereotypical way. Also, foxes are cute. So the thing is, I recently beat Bloodborne. Like, thoroughly beat Bloodborne. And I don't really want to bring up the last playthrough too much, but I did talk a lot about in the last playthrough, I kind of wish that the game was Bloodborne. Which it isn't. And now I'm okay with that because I have thoroughly beaten Bloodborne. Like, platinum Bloodborne. And when I did that, I realized, you know, I actually learned how to enjoy these games. As long as I didn't let my assumptions rule how I was going to approach them and just let the enemy's attacks be data and learn from it, I was actually having fun. I didn't 
feel the need to get mad or anything. So, yeah, I decided let's try that attitude towards Dark Souls 3 and let's see if I can have some fun. Because why not, really? Isn't that the point of games is to have fun, ultimately? I mean, I realize there are other ulterior motives, but it seems like there's no reason to play it unless it's enjoyable in some capacity. Anyway. So to that end, I found that the... Ah, the use of curved swords is actually really fun. Or at least the twin blades. Ah! Come on, get over here. Ah, shoot. No visceral attack. Ow! That was painful. Okay. Up and down and don't do that to me. Well, that sucks. Okay. Thought I had a chance to dodge. I have experimented a little bit with this build, this playstyle, because it is... It is different to what I was doing before. Because before I did have the crossbow as well, and granted I never had that right at the start, and I expect to bring in a longbow at some point, but I don't plan to use any part of the build I had before, so I don't expect to use straight swords or crossbows. It's actually kind of funny that I even thought crossbows would be the equivalent to guns. Honestly, in terms of the resources used, that's more equivalent to the sorcerer's staff. But for this build, I'm planning primarily to use curved swords, daggers, maybe straight swords, or maybe thrusting swords at one point. Basically anything that I didn't use before. And sorcery. Although the Brigand Twin Dagger is the one I'm really looking forward to, because that has the quick step. Which is loads of fun. Okay, you're... Can I get over here? Ow! Shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, hey, you're breathing. Great! Ah! Ha! And explode. And then I get you a few more times. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Give me the visceral, give me the visceral. Ow, shoot. That's really hard to figure out the visceral point for. Yeah, I'm gonna call it that too. So, that's one thing as a warning. Is that I will be calling critical attacks visceral attacks because that's what I'm used to. And also, I might end up calling souls blood echoes because... There we go. Because that's also what I'm used to. Even though I kept making the opposite mistake when I was thinking about Bloodborne, I kept calling it Souls. Ah, there we go. Only one death so far. Hey! I honestly don't know how many deaths it's going to take me to get through this. I don't really care. Like, the last one, yeah, was Let's Die Horribly was the entire tag... Wait a sec. Is there stuff up there? can't remember. That was the entire tagline... I feel like that wasn't really a great attitude. It was kind of a funny attitude, but it didn't really work. I mean, the point of it was to be funny about it, not to be angry and whiny, which ended up being the case. At any rate, that's the death. And, oh, where's the crossbow? Crossbow, ah, there's crossbow. Crossbow person. Die, you. Although another thing I actually am gonna try to use more of, which I didn't use the last time was- Ah! Crap! So much for my demonstration. I was gonna say it was parrying. Okay, this isn't working at all. I was practicing this, I swear. Come on, you, come at me. There we go! And then if I- Okay, the muscle memory to switch back is not great. I should be able to get a weapon for parrying pretty quickly. Like, dedicated- Actually- no, I was planning on getting a sorcerer's staff. I was going to use this for parrying primarily. Yeah, the muscle memory is parry and then do the little switch over to two-handing the weapon and then attack. Which can work, but it's a little bit risky. So, there should be... Okay, there's that guy down there. There's this dude over here who's completely a pushover if I just hit him. See, so I hit him, he dies. It's pretty simple. Ah. Of course, the one downside to this particular weapon is that I can't kick with it. I get this weird... Like, if I try to kick, I get a spin or a slash and then a backflip. Which is handy for getting away from anything trying to kill me, but not really handy for breaking shields, which I'd rather it did. For instance, this guy here. Yeah. 
All right. Ow. Maybe I should go back to parry. Ow. Oh, I found these guys really hard to parry. Hmm. Ow. Okay, this is getting annoying. Ha! Left yourself vulnerable, you fool! I can kill you now. And you as well. And now, firebombs. Okay, I need those for the boss. Granted, I do have some because I started with them, but I'd like to save those if I can. Black firebombs are harder to come by. And you are a bit of a pain, so no. Ah, what? No, do not kill me. You may not kill me. Actually, for that end, I should probably get my Estus back. I just wanted to get the, the firebombs, because the firebombs are going to be handy to have as a backup. In fact, I want them right now. There we go. Perfect. And die. Again. Because that's how this game works. And what was here again? Titanite shard. Perfect. All right, so I have the Titanite shard. I have a drop that actually isn't going to do me a whole lot of... Oh! I expected it to take damage there. I normally do. That was fortuitous. Ah! You die, and then we fight this Udex gun, you dude. Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen anything of my stuff for Dark Souls, this is not a blind playthrough. I have played through this game before. In fact, the stuff I'm playing through is like... This is pr up until, let's say, the cathedral. It'll be like the third time, and then... There are some areas where it'll be past that the second time. Actually, the second time for most of ow, most of it. Not for the Udex Gundir fight. This I've actually tried a lot while I was trying to figure out how this is going to work in the first place. Ow. All right. Yeah. Can I? No, I just hit you for stuff. Okay, and this is when I want to use the fire bomb. Bah. Because it's more powerful. Ow. There we go. And that's why I bring along the black fire bombs. Because it makes the first bus so much easier. Oh, I didn't need to. Ah, oh, whatever. Like, I didn't need to get my Estus back. In fact, I can't just get my Estus back now. Because that's how this game works. You get bonfires every time you kill something. Which is really funny if you think about it, because they're all based on this coiled sword, which you just get from getting Gundir. I mean, obviously, that's just for the one in Firelink Shrine, but I find it kind of amusing. This light anachronism there. I guess the anachronism is pretty much the name of the game, though, to be in that Dark Souls has this canonical thing about time being all convoluted, and that means that you end up in past and future things randomly. Like, for those of you who haven't seen the game yet before, we're going to see this place in very interesting ways in the future. Or possibly the past. It's not entirely clear which. I thought you were going to fall off the edge. Ah! Maybe I should just go back to this in case I, you know, want to parry something for some reason. I mean, the thing is, parrying with weapon is... I check the stats. It's... With curved swords, it's a little bit worse than a shield. With rapiers and the parrying dagger, it's on par, if not better. Ow. Well, no point hurting myself and I don't have to. Gah! Aha! Nice try. Ow! Well, I don't want to die, so... Let's just not do the- Ow! Spear person. You are being a pain. I do not like you. Ow. Okay. I'm also getting a little premature. Ah, come on, you. What? Okay, I had the timing for this. I don't know why it's not working right now, but you know what? Forget it. Let's just practice this later. Practice later. Kill now. Murdering things is more important. Especially since I have no Estus left. Alright. 
So, this is a normal thing. Firelink Shrine! Hey, we're back! And we have people to talk to. And we have bonfires to create. So the first person I want to talk to is the Handmaiden, because I need to get some stuff off her. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the Shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> Sure, whatever. All right, so first off, I want to get myself a sorcerer staff. Because I'm going to be doing sorcery as well with this character. And I think that was everything I wanted. Yeah. Oh, wait, I need a torch too. I'm going to regret that if I don't get that. I'm going to regret it quite a ways in, but I'm going to regret it nonetheless. All right, let's just get you done. And... Ashen one. Be sure. So, I, since we may not have all seen what's going on here, let's give you the tour. First off, well, the handmaiden. Second off, the firekeeper. Welcome keeper. to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. So yeah, she's gonna be our... Basically, our level up tool. That's what she does. She levels things up. In this case, I'm gonna take a lesson I learned from Bloodborne, which is that HP is actually really nice to have. Like, seriously, I actually found it was handy. Although, mind you, that was partly because I was spelunking the Chalice Dungeons, which get really tough. They get into New Game Plus, New Game Plus 2 territory near the end. Okay, I wanted to have... Oh, I need more intelligence, actually. Come think of it. So I need that in order to cast the spell that I just got. Basically, my build is going to involve a lot of Dex and Intelligence, a bit of these three. Because they are really handy. I don't need vitality, I don't think, for what I think I'm planning on doing, and I don't need much strength. And I won't need faith either. I did miracles last time. So, continuing on the tour, we have Andre! Back from Dark Souls 1. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. So, upgrade weapons, add stuff to weapons to give them different powers, which I can't do right now since I don't have the gems to do so, but you can, or make them more powerful in a lot of ways. And also... Estus, however you like. I have no shards. Yeah, that's Andre. Are they big? I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> and for now, there aren't really any other people here. There's one other guy who's moping in the corner, but other than that, there's not really anyone here. Oh, and Lidleth. There's that guy too. He's pretty cool. He's not really relevant for right now. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. 
Don't you think? <laughs> well, I think I can just kick their butts, but hey, whatever. If you want to sit here and mope, then that's your prerogative. Actually, what a sick joke. Asking us to seek the talking truth. No, nah, you've got nothing else to say. All right. Well, you be you, and you be a depressed little lump on the rock steps. I'll talk to Lilith once I actually get the stuff to make boss weapons with. He'll, we'll save him for later. He's a pretty cool guy. How much soul do I have? 154. All right. So I want to take care of that one guy with a katana, which is actually a really good target for parrying. Like, really, really good target for parrying, if you can pull that off. And I have in the last couple tests I made. But, you know how it is. It's video maker's curse. I'm not going to be able to pull it off this time. All right, come at me, boy. Oh, hey, I did pull it off. Oops, pff, I should have actually... Oh, crap, I'm coming in with nothing. All right, well, I'm going to die here. Yeah, I should have gone... I thought I had Mastis back. Darn it. Like I said, I, I mean, I got it. I just forgot the muscle memory of switching back to two-hand. It's going to be easier once I get another... Oh, wait, no, what am I thinking? Yeah, I really didn't do any of this stuff. That was silly. Because, for one thing, I should have tuned the spells that I had. At least Soul Arrow. Just make my life easier. Yeah, that was silly. I thought, for some reason, I thought I had actually sat at the bonfire and got my S's back. I forgot I don't get the S's back unless I actually sit down. Well, rookie mistakes out of the way. Let's keep going. Where is the... Weapon. I want to have the Sorcerer's Tab here. I mean, it does mean that I can't, for instance, Fist Parry, which does still deal a few hundred points of damage, but hopefully I remember to actually switch over to the, to the, swin, to the Twin Swords and not make that mistake again. But yeah, I can, because I can parry when it's one-handed, that's the thing. Ah, the load times. There we go. So, I need to kill that guy, and I'm- thankfully he doesn't actually hold on to my souls, which is kind of nice. Ow! Oh, come on! Seriously? I missed the timing just slightly. How am I- What did I say? I <laughs> caught this in testing two or three times in a row. Yeah, I figured that would happen. I mean, to be fair, I haven't tested it in a while, so... And my parrying in this game is not that great. Gotta get out of the Bloodborne habits. It's gonna take a while. There we go. Clean parry and oh, it doesn't do much damage. Crap. Ah, screw it. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ugh. I'm still getting used to the parry system in this game because, like, it takes about a quarter second before it actually works. Like, there's a bit of a delay. I think when it, I think when the actual swing happens back, like, turns right and then goes left. I think when it flips left is the window to parry, but it's really tiny. That's a six-frame window, so a tenth of a second. And. I'm kind of- I'm still getting my muscle memory from Bloodborne, which is a completely different approach to parrying, because the idea is that you're trying to hit your- Ow, oh, what? Ugh. You're trying to hit the enemy while they're in the middle of their attack frames, and not get hit in the middle of a parry frame. Or, middle of a tiny parry window. That's the difference, and it's really difficult to get used to. Like, it's hard to get used to the difference, because I'm- 
trying to get hit, but at a very specific time. It's weird. But I did it, now just to kill this thing. Alright, I'll kill it later. Darn, I thought I could kill it now. Let's actually continue with the rest of the game. That's that's more fun. I don't know. Alright, so hi well, Lothric. We are in the first area of the game. Where we kill things and stuff happens. And it's a big castle. Because it well, actually I think that's Lothric Castle itself. Actually, come to think of it. Ah <laughs> Okay. Let's actually come to think of it without dropping accidentally and losing our footing. Let's see, that's I th think the Grand Archive's over there, but I'm not entirely sure. So let me think about this for a second. We have directly in front of us that's the cathedral, which leads up to Lothric Castle directly, so that's where Lothric Castle is. So no, Grand Archives would be over here. Actually, I think that area up there is like where my head is, is actually where you fight those angel knights. Which we'll get to eventually. If those, for those of you not familiar with the game, there are knights with angel wings. Not much of a spoiler, but they do exist. So, we got some killing to do. Actually, I'm gonna go and get a longbow, because I need that. Or I'd rather like it. I don't really need it, but I'd like to have it. Okay. No, I need to have this first. The dogs are a pain in the butt. As with all FromSoft games, dogs suck. Or to be perfectly honest, dogs are actually really terrifying to fight. Do not fight a dog if you can help it in real life. I would not recommend it. Ow. Wrong button. What I meant to do was this. I'll get it eventually. It's pretty big eventually. Okay, seriously, what is the timing on that? I still don't know exactly what the timing is for parry. I just... Uh, I will get used to it. I will figure it out. I don't know why I can't seem to get it. It's really weird. It's so cool to get, though, which is why I do it. It's like, I don't care that I'm having a hard time. Getting it is such a reward that it is worth it. It is totally worth it to die several times practicing parrying to get parries. Because, I mean, that's one of the things I realized, because I was talking in the other playthrough about how I wish Dark Souls had ranged parries like Bloodborne does, and I realized, you know what, what it is that I really want is for Dark Souls to have parries, which it does. It's just normal, well, shields all mostly parry. Ow. Darn it. I mean, some weapons parry as well, but as we've seen, it's a bit hard to make that work really well. All right, there we go. You're done. And I can continue along to fight the thing that needs firebombs to kill. Or at least it helps a ton if you have them. Get out of here, crossbow dude. There we go. Okay. Now you're ready to fight. Uh, oh, that's how long it is? I could have gone into attack then. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Okay, I think it's been long enough. Yep. You can only firebomb them every once in a while, otherwise it just won't stun them. Ow. Get firebombed. It makes life so much easier when you have fire. Life lesson there, all of you. Life is easier when you have fire. For one thing, you can cook food. Granted, nowadays you can just cook food with electricity, but, you know, fire was how you originally cooked food. Back in the day. Or even now, if you have a gas stove, and those things are awesome. Gas stove's the best thing ever. Like, seriously. 
gas stoves are wonderful. You get to cook stuff, and then immediately everything's hot. Like, immediately you can start cooking as soon as you get close to starting cooking. It's great. Anyway, I want to have this in my right hand. So right hand is full of all my ranged options. I have magic ranged options, and I have non-magic ranged options. I said I wasn't going to use crossbows. I never said I wasn't going to use ranged options. That being said, though, there's a guy who's going to try to wake people up. Nope. Quiet, you. And someone who got woken up. I think I can actually practice parries in this guy. Ah, so close. I uh, let's see. Go for it. Come on. Now. Ow. Ah. Come on. Come on. Okay, forget it. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Point blank magic! Great idea there. Let's play around with the bow. That's a good bow. I like it. It works well as a bow. Um, well, I'd say this is an okay place to call this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and yeah, I did enjoy it. I mean, I gotta practice my parrying, and I'll do that off camera, but I'll get it. I'll also get stuff that makes it easier to parry, because there's a rapier pretty far in that is way easier to parry with than this thing. And, well, not way easier, but it adds... It adds a couple frames of parry window, which is nice. And then the parrying dagger eventually. Which will be ultimately what I use to parry. At least I think I will. I'm not sure. There are some other really good twin blades that are nice to be able to just two-hand into. We'll see. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching, and see you next episode.